Hola, my name is Katie from BinayNoma.com. Today, I want to share my travel experience in Manhuyad Sunbar, aka the Maldives of the Philippines. Where can you find native wooden houses built on stilts that look like they're floating on shallow blue water? Most travelers would probably say Maldives. Yeah, right. Because Maldives is famous for it, and not to mention, it's damn expensive. <laughs> Maldives resorts usually cost between $150 to $350 a night. That's, that's about 15,000 pesos a night. Average Joe can't afford that. But what if I tell you that you can actually find a similar island in the Philippines that costs less than $100 for the whole day? Yep. You heard that right. It's in my home country. It's located in Baiz, Negros Oriental. It's just a few hours away from Dumaguete City. It's not as expensive and luxurious as the Maldives. Everyone can visit because it can be easily accessed and it's budget friendly. Thanks to YouTube travel blogger Christian LeBlanc, his video encouraged me and my friends to visit this hidden gem. So how do you get to Manuyad Sanbar? So from Manila International Airport, we took a one and a half hours flight to Dumaguete City. And from Dumaguete Airport, we took a tricycle to Ceres Bus Terminal Station. We boarded a bus en route to Baiz, Barangay Kalindagan. The fare is around 50 pesos or one dollar for air-conditioned bus. Then once you get there, take another tricycle to Canibal Wharf or Kapinyahan Wharf. And if you want a more comfortable ride, you can rent a private car for only twenty-seven dollars or one thousand three hundred pesos. And from Kapinyahan Wharf, you can rent a boat that will take you directly to Manhuyad Sandbar. The boat rental is around 2,500 pesos or $51. If you want to include dolphin watching and a side trip to the mangrove forest, it's 5,000 pesos or $100. But I don't really support animal tourism because they're just mask exploitation and mistreatment. And even animal loving tourists may not be aware of the underlying misery that's involved around it. Okay, moving on. If you want to go to Manuya, you can contact the Bai City Tourism Office so you can book in advance. I will post the contact details in the description box down below. Here are the things to consider when you visit Manhuyad Sandbar. Number 1. Bring food. There's no food on the island, but you'll see some vendors on their small boats selling sea urchin, freshly caught fish, and coconuts. My friends and I brought pack lunch from the market and bought fresh coconuts from the boatmen. Number 2. Check the tide and weather forecast. Wherever your destination is, always check Always check the weather forecast on Google. Although sometimes it's not that accurate, I think it's best to go early in the morning or after 12 p.m. so you can enjoy the pristine 7 km stretch of the premium white sun bar. Number 3. Don't expect luxury. In Maldives, the daily budget would cost you about $350 to $850 including accommodation, but in Manhuyud, it's less than $100. So don't expect anything lavish like in Maldives because you'll just get disappointed. My advice is to appreciate the natural beauty of the island and make some new friends like what we did. Yoga in Manhuyud Sunbar our boatmen park in one of the overwater bungalows so we can eat our lunch 
Then three Japanese students approach our boat and ask if they can use it as a platform to cross. So we let them cross and they went jumping like crazy happy kids. When they got tired, we offered our food because they haven't eaten breakfast yet. So we talked for a while and they said they're in the Maguere because they're studying the English language and they said it's way cheaper in the Philippines compared to language schools in Japan. Then we met Aki. He's a yoga practitioner and he was doing some yoga poses and me and my friends decided to join him. Here are some yoga poses he taught us. After our yoga session, we jump from the bungalows and snorkel for a little bit. I must say that we truly enjoy our short stay in Manhuyud because we had so much fun and met new friends. Manhuyad is an ultimate stress reliever and even though the long stretch of white sun bar isn't clearly visible when we were there because of the high tide, it doesn't affect the beauty of the island. We'll still come back to Manhuyad Island for sure. Hey guys, have you been to Manhuyad sun bar? Feel free to share your travel experience in the comments section. Always remember to stay positive, be happy, and live free. Thanks so much for watching, and see you in my next video.